Right. Hello, and welcome back again. So, um, right. I will be talking about the events of, like, since March 17th. 17th of March. And yes, I don't have a, I don't have a script. All right. So everything I will be talking about is basically from my memory or how I remember it at least okay so let's begin um, you keep in mind this is not for this is not for empathy again keep in mind this is not for um, empathy or whatever it's for informational purpose only and uh, if someone will make actual video about this about me then you are potentially a attention seeking hip hypocrite probably i don't know i don't know even what that means <laughs> oh well so w like why am i even doing this right uh, first of all it's for information purpose second of all uh, it hurts. And third of all, you've voted for this in the uh, community poll. So, let's begin. So, we have over here March 17th. This is the exact date where a, a Megamind Reel has died. My best friend and everyone else's best friend. Well, what I mean by this is... Uh, well, uh, I don't know how many friends he had, but I'm sure he had a lot of friends, and he had died. And, um, god damn it, uh, he had committed self-destruction. No, I will not mention the S-word. I will just not do it. And the first time I heard about this, it was in a car. I was driving into a cinema, actually, and... Uh, thanks to uh, Zeman's uh, announcement on that day, uh, my cinema experience was ruined and I was grieving a Megamind's, Re Megamind's Reels loss. Uh, not just me though, it was a lot of people actually. Like, almost almost entire Unturn community I would say. Um... I don't even know how many people it affected, but it's definitely more than 20,000 at least. Or probably 30,000 when I'm thinking about it. But mainly his family got affected by it. <sighs> okay. Let's continue. So, I took three days off, uh, like trying to process the loss. Like trying to process, trying to find information, etc. And so, on the twentieth um, of March, the uh, I've made a Instagram post and the journalist video uh, uh, for the first time seeing this uh, link over here, which was from <coughs> which is from Choo Choo Charles, and so uh, I've uh, Choo Choo Charles made a video exactly on March 17th which uh, he talked about Megamind, how great he was uh, how he acted like uh, his friends, his family, etc. And so yeah, I was digging a lot of information but I did not know how he died and uh, do you know how I didn't know? Because uh, thanks to uh, Zeman1064 uh, he never mentioned in the announcements when, uh, like, how he, exactly he died. Um, yeah, I just don't know, uh, like, uh, why he didn't mention it. But, yeah, let's just, let's just continue. This is a straight-up mess. So, on 22nd of March, uh, yeah, by the way, I will provide the, um, screenshots of uh, 20th of March, okay? Whatever else there is, I will provide screenshots. 22nd of March, 
anger on unturned official discord plus the parsley meme so what i'm referring to here is um i was extremely pissed at uh, the uh, uh, lgbtq stuff that they don't care about and uh, i know what you're thinking um if like in my life anti-lgbtq no i'm literally not anti-lgbtq uh, and the reason why I'm part of LGBT is thanks to uh, one of my ex-girlfriends uh, when we broke off. So yeah. Uh, anyways, <coughs> so what this is referencing to over here is the face. Now people call it the griefer face, but I just call it the uh, twisted face because it's like twisted on the side and uh, I don't know what was I exactly doing to be honest so <laughs> so it was basically I've posted that picture I'm pretty sure you know which one I mean and uh, yeah that was basically it and uh, I've also made a uh, I'm pretty sure I've made a video about it which is now privated by the way so yeah now we are going to the 28th of march and 30th 28th or 30th of march widespread misinformation and band waves will lemons and so what what am i referring to here um it was like a wild scale like almost like when they tried to find you and so they, like, why did I mention Will Lemons? Because I've seen him tagging me multiple times before the ban on Discords. And to be honest, it was like, uh, I think it's like 60% or 70%. Um, like 70% of the Discords uh, bans. Like, most of the Discords servers were part of a roleplay in Unturned. And uh, it was also uh, due to my uh, review series that I did. So yeah. Will Lemons here took, I think he took the charge to find me and uh, literally destroy, like, wherever I was. Uh, yeah, that, that's basically <laughs> how it went down. Now, we go over here. 31st of March, Z-Man's Rage. Now, what am I referencing to here is uh, Z-Man's uh, message on Discord. Yeah, he, like, I'm, no, wait, no, no, no. Uh, he messaged me on Discord. He posted a screenshot to uh, get my ass from the internet or something. I don't know what it was, but I will provide the DM. And uh, then, uh, I, like, I friended him back, I gave him uh, my uh, sincere apologies for my behavior. And so, yeah, that's basically how it started the uh, worst meme, which is uh, uploaded on 3rd of April. But uh, anyways, so this is where things uh, people might get confused. Uh, the second or third of April, uh, visiting a hospital for appendix, but it never happened due to the doctor saying normal. It's uh, apparently normal to feel inside of your organs touching your skin. And so, what basically happened is that I've uh, expected like some sort of surgery, but it never happened because they uh, they were saying, oh, it's normal to feel your organs touching your inside the like belly. You know, that's what it was. And, uh, to be honest, it's fucking creepy. And, yeah, it's genuinely creepy as fuck. Okay, now, on the 3rd of April, uh, the worst meme video uploaded by, uh, Zman1064, which is, uh, like, I had to watch it and I remember it. Do you know why I remember it? Because I was literally in the bus going to school, uh, remembering something uh, in the video. And most of it is pure bullshit. I 
I did thought about a making a response, but I, I think it will not serve any purpose unless, like, I think people unless people will get like curious or something. Uh, what this also does uh, did was further spread hate, especially among uh, his young audience, and yeah. You can, you can take a guess on exactly what's been happening uh, with uh, with me, which also includes doxes and also like uh, my Discord being used to spread a apparently free gift gift cards or whatever. Uh, yeah, basically hacked and uh, something like that. It was fucking awful. Then we go. To 4th of April. So, over here, what happened is uh, right now, Box Boy Josh, uh, he made a second channel, very positive, and he downloaded two of my videos. I talked about it before, and so I copyright strike them. And yeah, I didn't know that they leak your email. Unfortunately, I wish I would have knew that sooner, but what followed next is basically like being signed into polish governments gaming uh, websites etc which also includes a newspaper website somewhere in the washington or whatever it was it was fucking awful especially when i didn't know how to properly secure my email to which i've countered it back with a software that allowed me to track where and how my email was used and there was a lot of people that were using it. And like, especially from California. So I'm pretty sure Z-Man used it himself. But I don't want to make false speculations. So, yeah. Also keep in, keep in mind, this is still for informational purpose only, if you forgot. Okay. And then we have the 6th and 8th April apology videos. Uh, yeah. I've uploaded apology videos. It was unfortunately... Uh, garbage but I didn't have time at the time and right now that I have time I still mean that those apologies were like serious like I really meant my true sorry appearance and that was basically it I am still I am still pretty much sorry for uh, posting uh, memes also reacting the, to the memes by myself I think and also this also goes to towards uh, disrespect apparently towards uh, Megamind's family to which I still have a lot of questions uh, unanswered uh, yeah so yeah uh, then we have the um, two weeks off YouTube so I took two weeks off YouTube um, I really did hope that nothing will happen, but unfortunately it did. And so, uh, I was interrogated by Piddle, trying to, uh, like, I would really try to end the drama, but unfortunately it was a setup between him and Z-Man to crack open my skull and beat me or something. And they used my own thoughts against me, I think, and unfortunately I... I figured out that I don't work well. I don't. I don't work well. I don't work well under pressure. That's what I figured out. Because right now I figured when I'm under pressure, I forget a lot of shit. And uh, right now I'm actually calm, and so I remember quite a few things. <sighs> and yes, it is indeed true on that live stream. Uh, 2 hours and 30 minutes. I was crying as uh, literally. I had a lot of mental breakdowns there. And I took more than 60 fucking pills. To um, you exactly know what you are reading right now. And uh, yeah. Also on the stream Malvin tried to help me. But uh, like he was spamming me in the DM. Like uh, to leave from the voice call. And not give them attention. But unfortunately... Uh, I gave them, unfortunately, attention, and that's what happened. 
and also the uh, Fartboy Not So Lim uploaded video situation about our chain, which I've also watched. 14, um, so yeah, this is the, um, yeah, this, I've, yeah, I've, yeah, this is the live stream over here. Yeah, this is the live stream uh, from the uh, pedal. And that was basically it. So, yeah, now we have go to the 20th of April. A homicide in Hunter community uploaded by Zeman. A shortened version of the live stream from 14th of se or 17th of April. In interrogation. Uh, apparently, Zeman got paid some dollars, some extra cash to stop mentioning me. I have no clue. And, like, it's a rumor. But I have no idea if this is true or not. If this is true, it just shows how fucking scumbag he is. And literally, like, I literally laughed Z-Man, but I don't do it anymore. And, like, I haven't been paid shit, nobody gave me anything, only hate, and uh, that's basically it. So basically, mentally ill being kicked out of the entire community. Uh, without any proper understanding. That's how I count it. So yeah, and yes, I wrote it in 3 a.m. by the way. So yeah, so following next, following weeks, 3rd of May, uh, unfortunately, uh, two of two other friends of mine got ran over and killed while crossing the street. It was a truck, by the way. And you have no idea what I witnessed. That was that was fucking. <laughs> you have no idea what I witnessed. I let I. Just fucking no. I, I don't want to talk about this. And this is... This is just fucking depressing. Okay. <clears throat> it, it's also pissing me off very much that I've witnessed that shit. And also when... And like I went into their funeral. <laughs> like I went into their funeral and literally had to watch their their corpses and then closed the coffin that was fucking the person <coughs> <coughs> but of course i know i cannot change the past and i cannot change what i witnessed so yeah basically the next day uh it was uh, about my behavior for for lbr's live stream and uh, at the end I had to go to the funeral, so the next day basically uh, I went into the funeral, watched their corpses, uh, closed the coffin, and then watched the coffin sunk into the ground like 10 feet or 5 feet below. 6th of May, I took a therapy session and it didn't work. And neither the next that I took, it did not work. It was, and it still is, it's still hurting me inside. And I believe that if I will make this video, at least some of the pain will be relieved. At least some, I'm not saying everything, but at least something. The following days, I, uh, I literally was forced to stay quiet. And I heard voices in my head, and it also includes Megamind's voice. Literally, I still hear that voice in my head. It's pissing me off. And uh, straight up, it sometimes makes me depressed so fucking badly. You have no idea. It's ridiculous. Okay. Following days, I was uh, also paranoid, stressed, depressed. And I have more of the same thoughts like Megamind has. Uh... I did some of this fucking shit. I did some of this shit and I believe it was great. But I don't recommend it to people who also go through what I'm going through. I tried to relieve it and it uh, at some point did. M uh, after some days, uh, I had a literal nightmare about Megamind. Literally a recreation of how he died. It was fucking disturbing. You have no idea. It like it was like a straight up from a horror movie, or, or like imagine 
him sitting on like uh, on a chair next to a desk uh, holding the knife before twisting his head 300 like 180 degrees to face yours only to like appear in a smile and black and eyes that, that shit was fucking disturbing and literally this will be really hard to forget <clears throat> so i tried to like a couple of days later i tried to uh uh, oh, well, oh well, I forgot about this one. So, 12th of May. Uh, how long have I known Megamind Real was uploaded for my channel to at least answer question from a fat, so not, fat, fat boy no solim? That's what I wanted to answer. So, following days, I tried to move and forget to forget the drama with no success. This has affected me really fucking badly. Internet is basically my life, I would say. 18th of May, another therapist visit, but it, it had no luck and uh, no help. And basically, like I still hear the voices. I had more pain inside, and my heart was fucking slow. I've noticed, and I took more than 90 pills. Speaking of pills, you know what's uh, ridiculous? When we go back to the live stream over here, uh, the piddle dude yeah it's also the first time i had a seizure in more than two years in more than two years it's the first time i've had seizures that's how fucking bad it has affected me and it's fucking ridiculous and pissing me off and so 8th of june i wrote a self-destruction letter by me on messenger and i shared it to lvr and that's all you need to know for now i don't know if i will make this a multi-part video and, and i will like i will gladly accept whatever interview there is keep in mind as i said at the beginning this is for informational purpose only it's not for empathy and it's not for views or likes or dislikes or subs it's none of that shit. Informational purpose only. In for May shown. Informational purpose. Keep this shit in mind. And I've never I've never said that I'm doing stuff for empathy or whatever the fuck there was. So yeah. But so let's go like to the conclusion. What can we make all about all of this useless drama that has happened? I I believe if Z-Man would mention how Megamind would have died on uh, like March 17th that this shit could have been prevented. I truly do believe. Do you know why I believe? Obviously because of that screenshot that I will share. And so you, you I'm probably sure that you saw it right now. And uh, I even gave a link to GoFundMe to help Megamind's family and uh, as you could see as you could see over uh, here in the journalist I've actually cried in there so if you want I will just put the clip uh, over here and uh, yeah that's all for today hopefully uh, this uh, helped you to understand my perspective and please um, if, uh, if you do feel, like, upset, uh, seek help. Because I don't need help. I am currently doing a, a, I would say, fine. Well, not really fine. I am genuinely fucking... It, it's a, it's literally a roller coaster of emotions. So, yeah. Whew. I hope this understood. Uh, I hope this understands you to understand better the drama I've went through, and yeah. Also, yeah, it's it's literally information, as I said before, informational purpose. It's not for attention, not for likes or subscribers, nothing like that. I do expect, though, li like let me make a prediction. 
I know someone will make a response video to this. And uh, I know that they will have more questions than answers. So just message me on Discord. Message me on Discord. Get your answers here. I am the source of information. <sighs> I, just, I, I really wish this wouldn't happen. And if someone will develop Time Machine, let me, uh, like, I would literally buy your Time Machine. Like, I don't care if I will sell my house, I would just want the Time Machine. So yeah, that's all for today. And um, have a nice day. Goodbye. And uh, may the Father, may the Father of Understanding guide us all. Requie, scat in pace, make a mind. And uh, yeah. I will go right now and uh, I'll see what else to do. Goodbye. joined his uh, uh, unturned raids and uh, yeah he he was a funny guy to trust me on this he was he was so good he was perfect he always wanted to lighten the mood during bad situations i knew him since the 2nd of june 2022 and uh, yeah it's so depressing to see like uh, basically, for all of us, it's just so depressing to see someone being so active and funny in the internet community to to suddenly to suddenly not being in here and not being here with us anymore. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I I knew him because I also was with him on Z Man Ten Sixty Four live streams. When Z-Man's Discord got hacked, that's where we basically met. I also knew him for his trollings in roleplay servers. I knew him due to him trying to help as many people as he could. He was a good kid. He didn't deserve to go this early. I personally believe uh, that the first time when I saw the message on on the z and 64 Discord, I, I thought it wasn't real, but unfortunately was and is. <sighs> right now, what we can do is uh, to go to the GoFundMe page, which I'll provide the link into in the description, to help his family. Requies got in pace, mega mind. You will be missed and never forgotten. I also want to say to the Mega Mind Reel that when I heard that message, literally my heart dropped and I was crying on Friday for a really long time. This had like literally an emotional impact on me, genuinely. And mainly for the community and uh, also Zeman 1064's community. The GoFundMe page has now over ten thousand dollars, which is insane. And uh, yeah, I'm glad that people support uh, the people support the family of Isaac. And I hope that they'll make a good use of the money. The family, of course, you know. And that they will be happy one day again. This just shows how life can get cut out anytime soon. So please be careful. Be careful out there and don't do dumb stuff. <sighs> I will miss you, Isaac. I, I'm just so sad. I'm sorry. I need. I need a moment. <laughs>